Hello YouTube and welcome to my August reading wrap up. This month I am doing a wrap up a little bit differently than I have done it in the past or than you've maybe seen other people do wrap ups like this. I'm combining it with a planner video so I am coloring in a spread for my personal planner. I got a six ring personal planner from the Recollections collection at Michael's this month and I love it. It is a way for me to kind of track things like reading and YouTube and if you are interested in a video about that let me know in the comments below. I've been using two planners now so it's it's gotten excessive but if you're curious about it I would be more than happy to make a video. But this video is me coloring in this little TBR shelf so I made this insert myself off of a video that I saw of someone else doing something kind of similar. I thought it was a really good idea. So I made a TBR shelf, which I'm coloring in now, and I decided that I would write books when I decided I was going to read them. And then when I read them, I would color them in. And so I also have another shelf, which you'll see in a second, where all of my books are shelved by month. But I also think that I'm just going to color them in in a different way every month. So this month I am using hard pastels and so you can see me kind of coloring and blending all throughout this video. So I read I think like seven books, it'll flip over and you'll see, but uh, on my TBR shelf I had Wires and Nerve and Fairest, which are by Marissa Meyer, and Wishful Drinking and The Princess Diarist by Carrie Fisher. So Carrie Fisher books are something that I've been interested in reading for quite a long time and I wanted to get my hands on them right before she passed away and as soon as she passed it was nearly impossible to get a hold of them and so I on a whim the other day looked up in overdrive the princess diarist and it was there and I looked at her other books and some of them were there too so I got the audiobook for The Princess Diarist and Wishful Drinking, and I listened to those in two days. I listened to Wishful Drinking one day, and I listened to The Princess Diarist the next day. Finished them in one sitting each. So if that tells you anything about how good these books are, uh, they're addicting, and Carrie is so, so good at narrating her life. She's so funny, and so I highly recommend it can be a little bit sad because she's passed and sometimes she makes jokes about that and the fact that like you could be reading this when she's dead and I'm like whoo so real too real um so the other books on my August shelf are Echo and Zot which I read for the Tome Topple uh these were both quite good reads I'm glad I got to partake in them they're books that I wouldn't have picked up had I not done the Tome Topple so Zot was a graphic novel that was over 500 pages and Echo was a middle grade book and I finished both of those and completed I believe three challenges with them although maybe it was only two <laughs> um, I can leave my tome topple wrap up in the description if you're more curious about about that process the other graphic novels on the shelf are Harley Quinn Jessica Jones and Gwenpool I checked out four Jessica Jones volumes from the library and I only read the first two and I returned all four of them because I just wasn't I just wasn't into it. Um, so if that tells you how I felt about that, DNF that series. <laughs> Harley Quinn is amazing. I've been reading it for quite a long time. I'm currently reading the fifth volume because I found the fourth and fifth at my library. So Gwenpool was the first volume and I adored it. 10 out of 10, recommend. Uh, even if you don't normally like comics, I just, I just want everyone to read it. It was so good and cute and pink and now I wanna do a Gwenpool cosplay, so. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm addicted. I also read Stone in the Sky this month. I started it in July, but I finished it in August. It is a sequel to a sci-fi series. I believe it's a duology, uh, so this will be the last book, but I will leave my full review for that in the description. I did one with Mallory. Uh, we both really liked it. I would recommend it uh, if you like sci-fi. It's a sci-fi book that no one's talking about, so um, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm really glad I read it. Um, so if you like sci-fi, I recommend you check it out. Uh, so Ferris and Wires and Nerve, which have been on my TBR for quite a long time, I found 
wires and nerve at my library and I got super duper excited and I grabbed it immediately and I had to finish the tome topple but then as soon as it was over I read it and I was so happy to be back in Marissa Meyer's world. It is a kind of epilogue uh, and it's a series. It had to be continued at the end so I'm really excited to be able to pick up the next one of that when it comes out but it follows Aiko who is a character that I loved reading the series but who we didn't get very much perspective on so it was very exciting and reading that made me want to buckle down and finish Fairest which I had started a while ago so that is what I read in the month of August I hope you all enjoyed this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more kind of planner book videos let me know in the comments below thank you all so so much for watching and I'll see y'all later Bye bye